Good morning, everyone. Assalamu alaikum. It is so nice to be back here. Um, I remember uh, two years ago standing in the same spot, uh, sharing with you my story. I consider Poptic as a family to me. We share the same DNA and the same values. Since leaving Saudi Arabia as a teenager, I've been on a journey to become a scientist. Based on the greatest scholars I was inspired by as a child. This inspiration is what pushed me so strongly against many odds to work as hard as I needed to be accepted and to study at the world's best universities, including King's College London, Cambridge University, Oxford, um, MIT, and Harvard. And ever since those early years of inspiration, my story and my passion has been about improving the quality of science and engaging and inspiring the heart and the mind of young people. Strong societies depend on them. The future depends on them. So it's my priority to improve science and inspire the youth, because we can all share a better future. Poptech was a turning point in my life. Thank you, Poptech. Since beginning my fellowship with Poptech in 2009 and 2010, um, I've learned so much there how to believe in my leadership skills, both as a scientist and social entrepreneur. And it's further confirmed my sense of purpose. Because I've always tried to answer this question. What of my education and of my training can I bring back home to my country, to the region? Well, my answer and the next chapter in my journey to establish an institute that will help to bring back innovation into the region and that can serve as a model for anywhere in the world. I believe the most important resource is our youth and I'm sure you uh, share with me the same belief. But let me share with you some important statistics. About 47% of the Arab population are 18 years old or younger. So Arabs are young on average. In this year, 2011, in Saudi Arabia, the Saudi Arabia government spent $40 billion on education and training. This is great foundation. But still, if we look at the age 20 to 24 years old, 43% are unemployed. The result, 70% want to immigrate and leave home. So many wanted to leave the country because opportunities are drying up, leaving the youth on a doorstep cold and empty. I see with my own eyes how these young people lack hope. The absence of bee can be crushing inside. They're depressed about the future, they have a poor uh, outlook, um, outlook on life, outlook on life. They have nothing to cherish for the long term. Without hope, there is no, uh, there is, um, there is no point of possibility, there is no dreaming, there is no de only despair. And also, I meet a, a hundred of amazing young people from the Middle East with the great ideas, but they lack the means to make dreams into reality. And also, they lack the confidence to believe that they could. Uh, two weeks ago, I was in Ottawa University and I gave a lecture in the university and I, I met this incredible guy, he's a medic um, from Saudi Arabia. And he, he told me about his idea he has um, um, five years ago. Uh, of, uh, he has a to develop procedure to replace heart valve in 10 years old children. He told me that he gave up because there was no support, was no encouragement, so sad. My journey, my story is all too rare. So I wanted to share with you a potential solution to inspire our youth to innovate. Give them a vision, a vision with warmth and passion. Vision can inspire them to innovate and create and believe in a better reality. To innovate, we need the power of imagination. We all have this tool. We need to um, guide them or teach them where to look, anything you can imagine, and how they can channel their hopes, their ideas to create new solutions and new opportunities. A hospital, 
a grass in the desert, a mining mineral on the moon, a new life for elderly, a cure for cancer, or the best restaurant in the world. Whatever ideas you try to bring to Earth, whatever dreams you try to bring into being. Imagination alone is not enough. It's half the solution. Imagination needs ingenuity to realize its potential, for individual to realize their potential, the inspiration to believe in themselves. This will help to make dream into reality. And also, we need, we must believe in our youth so they can start to lean in themselves and have the confidence to use their talent to reach their full potential. And also, we need to empower them with the right means so that their idea can may flourish. So today, right here, right now, in this moment, I'm thrilled to announce the launch of a new NGO, the Institute of Imagination and Ingenuity. As a remarkable institute to catalyze imagination and ingenuity, we must to innovate, to inspire, and inspire to innovate. Our mission is to create an ecosystem of entrepreneurship and social innovation for scientists, technologists, and engineers in the Middle East and beyond. It works at several levels to bring hope. It works at the level of the mind to grow the imagination, and also practically at the level of the hand to manifest ingenuity, to make dream, dream into reality. This institute will offer fellowship program, a training um, in skills like entrepreneurship and communication, a strong peer community, and an annual conference, and a world-class network of mentors, along with potential project funding. This is a powerful combination of individuals and ideas, of intent and impact, connecting science to social need, and people to possibilities. The logo. I know and I believe there are others, Steve Jobs and Bill Gates amongst us in the Middle East. And nothing break my heart more than to know that today we still walk past them. Individuals and their ideas are our biggest resource. And personally, I wanted to see the untapped talent of our youth bring to the surface and spring to life in our societies, in our lifetimes. I know it is a difficult challenge. It didn't emerge overnight and won't be solved overnight. But there is one thing that I've seen and that all of you at PopTech know. It's that with the right tools and the right spirits, change is possible. An institute, an ecosystem of innovation and opportunities for the region and for the world. Let us make all, all of us this change. Thank you very much.